There are many tourist attractions in Korea called the Land of Morning Khan. One of them is Mount Gumgang, which is said to make people regret all their life if they fail to visit. It is a beauty spot fantastic with unique peaks and ravines, beautiful seashores and islets, graceful and majestic waterfalls and ponds. The Kumgang is one of the six celebrated mountains of Korea well known to the world. The capital Pyongyang in the central western part of the Korean peninsula is the hub of politics, economy and culture of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and a center of Korean tourism. The Kumgang is more than 300 kilometers from Pyongyang and tourists go there via Wonsan, the capital of Gangwon province. Many places of historical and cultural interest and scenic sports are found on the way from Pyongyang to Mount Kumgang. More than 20 km drive along the Pyongyang Wonsan tourist road brings tourists to the mausoleum of King Dongmyeong, the founder of the Goguryeo Kingdom, which was the most powerful in the Korean history. Goguryeo was the first feudal state in Korea founded in 277 BC, which existed for nearly 1,000 years, writing a brilliant chapter of the history of the Korean nation. The Gumumuru site is found at the foot of a low hill on the left about 40 kilometers from Pyongyang, which proves that Korea was one of the cradles of human civilization in the early Paleolithic age one million years ago. Xinping resting place is on the shore of a beautiful artificial lake more than 100 kilometers from Pyongyang. Feasting their eyes on the beautiful scenery, tourists drink a cup of well-known yellow constricted liquor which is said to be good for longevity which will deeply impress the tourists. Many bridges and tunnels are found on the Pyongyang Wonsan tourist road. On a pavilion on the ridge 700 meters above the sea level, tourists look around at the beautiful mountain ranges, which are a reminder of the magnificence of the majestic Mount Baekdu range running from the ancestral mountain Baekdu to the Kuze Hill on the shore of the South Sea of Korea. On the way to and from Mount Gungang, Tourists can drop in at the 75 meter high Ulim Falls, around which the crucial and Pidan waterfalls, six ponds, and other scenic sports and recreation resorts and service facilities are found. This is the highest pass linking the east and west in the middle of Korea. The pass is so high with steep bends that it was called Masik or Horse Rest in the past meaning that 
horse could cross the pass after resting several times. But today, the Musica Tunnel runs under the pass from west to east, ensuring pleasant journey of the tourists. On the way to Wunsan, there is more than 100 hectare unbent walnut orchard. Wunsan is the east gate to Korea and also the gate to Mount Kumgang and a modern port city. Songdo-won, 3 km from Wunsan, is a scenic spot called Peksa Tung Song or White Beach and Evergreen Pines from olden times because of the ideal combination of the blue waves, white beach, evergreen pine woods and fragrant flowers. The Kumgang is on the shore of the East Sea of Korea, 110 kilometers south of Wonsan. The Chunsan Cooperative Farm, alias Pusimun Village, is found on the way to the Sogang Temple, about 20 kilometers from Wonsan. The temple was built towards the close of the feudal Gorya dynasty. Puri Gate, Joge Gate, and other historical structures have been preserved there as they were. Well known Sogangsa mineral water gushes out at the entrance to the temple. Forty six kilometer drive from Wonsan bring tourists to the Tongzhong and Sisung Lakes, once lagoon, which are exquisite in harmony with a sand beach dotted with red sweet briars limpid and smooth surface and dense woods. The Sison Lake is famous for its fine scenery and treatment by mud bodies. This is Chong Sok Chong on the way to Mount Gungang. The groups of basalt pillars seem to have been cut by skillful sculptors, and it is hardly believable to consider them creation of nature. Upon arrival in Mount Gungang, tourists seeing red evening glow anticipate a pleasant mountaineering to start the next day. World famous Korea's celebrated mountain Kumgang became more famous since the Korea dynasty, the first unified state in Korea. Piro Peak, the highest peak of the Kumgang, is 1,639 meters high. Mount Kumgang has 12,000 peaks covering an area of more than 530 square kilometers, 40 kilometers from east to west and 60 kilometers from north to south. Mount Kumgang had different names in different seasons. In spring, it was called Kumgang or Diamond, likening it to beautiful diamond. In summer, Pongde or Hill of Eternal Youth. In autumn, Pungak or Maple as the leaves turn red and yellow. And in winter, Kekol or Skeleton as queer rocks look like skeletons. The Kumgang is partitioned into Outer Kumgang, Inner Kumgang, and Se Kumgang. Outer Kumgang is a scenic district between the main peak of the Kumgang Piro and a chain of other peaks running from north to south and the Se Kumgang lying along the east coast. The Kudyongyun section, known as the best scene of Outer Kumgang, is one of the main mountaineering routes. The Shinge Temple, lost in beautiful pioneers, is a Buddhist temple with a long history. 
It was destroyed during the Fatherland Liberation War and rebuilt in 2007 to its former state. Past Mongnan restaurant at the entrance to the Kuryongnyan section, the mountaineering route leads the visitors to the Kuryong Falls. On the mountaineering route running through a dense forest, the air is so clean that grey-haired elders too speed up their steps feeling strings rising in themselves. The strange rocks on the peaks standing like a folding screen before crossing the Angzi Bridge have many legends. A gulp of Samrok Su, which is said to be washing wild in some an antler, relieves the drinker of pent up fatigue in an instant. Further up past the turtle rock, which is said to have been stiffened into rock, fascinated by the view of the Kumgang, tourists reach the Kumgang Gate, the entrance to Ong Nyodong. Ancient people said tourists can feel the real beauty of Mount Kumgang after passing the gate. After steep terrace, past the Kumgang Gate and Kumun Bridge, picturesque view of Ong Nyodong comes into sight. The Ong Nyo Falls and the Ong Nyo Pond, whose gem like a crystal clear water, looks like a roar of silk over the sightseers. The Rienzi Pond and the Rienzi Falls have a legend that two bees lost by fairies in the past became ponds. The falls coming down from the high breast of the season peak throwing up fog is called Pibong or Flying Phoenix as it looks like a phoenix flying with open wings and wagging tail. This is the Mubong Falls looking like a dancing phoenix. The Gampok Pavilion commands a magnificent and spectacular view of the falls. This is the famous Kuryong Falls, the best view of Mount Gungang. The Kuryong Falls, one of the three famous waterfalls of Korea, is 74 meters high. It is also one of the beautiful waterfalls in the east. Water flows through a narrow strait looking like a saddle which was formed in a hollowed rock and drops like a roll of white silk into the Kuryong Pond with a lesson that nine dragons once lived there. Kuryong Rock is on the top of the Kuryong Falls. 
a safety ladder on the steep cliff leads to the cooling rock. The rock looks down on the upper pile pools looking like a threaded eight bees. They have a story about eight fairies who came down from the sky on a rainbow to pass in the pools and flew up again. Today, too, the high gypsum peak with a fog hanging around its breast is waiting for the fairies in the legend. More than 10 kilometers up along the motorway running to the Onjong Pass, tourists arrive at the entrance to Manmulsang. There are sheer cliffs and all shapes of queer rocks presenting unique views. Sharp three rocks are Samson or three heavenly men rocks and a rock standing alone beside them is a Kimian or monster faced rock. On the Sejibong range in Mammulsang, a cliff called Ansin Rock welcomes the tourists. A multitude of strange rocks on the cliff look like a saddle on which people feel relief, hence the name Ansim or Relief Rock. Multifarious rocks are standing in the scenic valley and many peaks boast of themselves. Safety ladders are laid on the sheer cliffs. After climbing up the ladders on the high cliffs, tourists reach the turns and rock with a legend that fairies came down from the sky and enjoyed themselves in beautiful Mount Gumgang. On the rock, tourists see different shapes of rocks representing all things of the world. Rocks represent duck, mole, chick, large chicken, rabbit and all others according to the thought of the viewers. One rock represents different mysterious things when seen from different angles. This is the Hano or Sky Gate, the highest of the rock gates in the Kumgang. The ladder from the gate is steep and the climbers must be careful. The spring well on the breast of the rock is so mysterious that a gulp is said to be giving strength to the climber with a stick to forget his stick, hence the name Mangjang Chun or Forget Stick Spring. The mountaineering route of Mammulsang is widely known for its best views characterized by a multitude of queer rocks.
The scenic spots of Si Gum Gang can be divided largely into the Logun Samil section and the Si Mamul Sang section. The lake is Logun Samil or three day Logun. Once upon a time, a king came there to stay for one day but stayed for three days as the scenery was so beautiful. From olden times, Logun Samil was well known as one of the eight scenic spots in the northeastern part of Korea and the best lake view in Korea. The lagoon is 5.8 kilometers round and 9 to 13 meters deep. Logun Samil has Changun Rock, Pongne Rock, Ryona Rock and many other scenic spots. Sea Mamnul Sang is a multitude of strange rocks in the shape of different things on the sea. It represents the sea Kumgang and seascape of the Kumgang. Different shapes of rocks move to the sea boost of their beauty accompanied by the blue waves. So, people say, without seeing the sea Mamnul Sang, they cannot enjoy all beauties of Mount Kumgang. The Chote or candlestick rock, Kumgang Gate, Ripsog or Standing Rock, Sorsom of Pine Isle are outstanding scenic spots with the best scenes. Ino Kumgang is a western scenic section of Mount Kumgang. It is Pyofun and Tsungyang temples with a long history. Panyabo, Myungbu and Ryongsan Halls and Rungpa Pavilion are still standing as they were as witnesses of history. Engraved on mammoth rocks in the valleys are words of praise of the great leaders and other words to be handed down generation after generation. The Pidan or Silk Falls is called so as the water coming down on the cliff looks like a roar of silk and another falls is called Pipa or Ut Pond as the fall of the water is heard like the sound of wood. Famous spots in Ino Kumgang washed by clear water have many legends. The Punsol Falls and the Punsol Pond remind tourists of a snowstorm making them shiver with a cold even in midsummer. Seen on the right side of the pond is the Bodog Hermitage hanging on the breast of a sheer cliff supported by a single copper pillar. It is a pride of Ino Kumgang rare to be seen in the world. Further past the Hermitage, tourists find a 15 meter high Mughal Buddhist sculpture and mountaineering wood leading to the Beetle Peak. This is the Sambul Rock, well known as an excellent sculpture of the Korea dynasty. Full-length sculptures of three Buddhist Buddha, Sakomuni and Amida are on the face of the rock. Further up, tourists find four monuments, including the monument to Saint Susan and five stupors. This is the Kumgang Sanotail in the outer Kumgang region. 
All service facilities have been modernized to give pleasure to the client. Wegumgang Hotel is another tourist attraction. The Kumgangsan Hot Spring is clear and transparent radon hot spring with weak radioactivity. It is especially efficacious for treatment of different diseases and relief of fatigue. Pine mushroom food and hot stone roasted meat favored by tourists are specialities of Mount Kumgang. From olden times, it was said that a great man produces a famous mountain and the great man is reflected on the famous mountain. After touring beautiful ravines, magnificent waterfalls, blue sea rippling with the treasures of Mammal Sang and along the firm safety ladders on the sheer cliffs of peaks, the tourists say they would come again to the world-famous Mount Kumgang in flowering spring and in autumn bright with red leaves. <laughs>